Hi, my name is Nan, and in this video I will be evaluating my cover to Alicia Keys' Girl on Fire featuring Nicki Minaj. Our music video uses forms and conventions of a real media product. In addition, it uses cozy conventions of a slow R&B music video. Typically, R&B music videos use a grayscale or a sepia tone. This is used as it softens the colours of the video, which adds to the tone of the song. Furthermore, dark colours evoke emotions, reflecting the emotions from the lyrics, enabling the audience to sympathise with the artist. Another current convention used in slow R&B is the close-up shots. This is a convention as it allows the audience to see the raw emotions of the artist, provoking emotions from them. in the music video to be wearing minimal clothing. As, as a result, we too chose for our artist, Alara, to develop, to develop this convention. This convention is used for the gratification of the male audience as it's aesthetically pleasing. The reason sent from our cover reflects this as Alara is wearing a boob tube with a bodycon skirt alongside red lipstick. Furthermore, this conveys with an, another convention which is typical for females to exaggerate their sexuality. However, much on the contrary, in some of our shots, Alara is dressed modestly. The reason being is in order to create effect. In these shots, we wanted the focus to be on the lyrics she's singing as well as her emotion. As a result, we chose to challenge this convention in some aspects. If we hadn't done that, we felt like it would remove the raw emotions which could consequently detach her from the audience. For my digipack, I use the font. This font fits in with a genre of slow R&B as it is clear. Furthermore, I chose that specific font as it is bold and reflects the message of the lyrics in the song suggesting that women should be bold and independent. In addition, the same font is used for the poster, linking the different media products with the genre as well. Also, it helps the audience to identify with the logo. In order to make the combination of the different, different media products, music video, digipack and poster, I chose to create a colour scheme which complemented the genre as well as, well as the video. I used dark colours, black, with a contrast of red, which provokes emotion. Audience feedback is very important. We knew from our initial planning and research who our target audience are, 14 to 25 year olds, and what they would expect to see. We constructed a questionnaire to get some feedback on our music video to see if they meet the expectations of our target audience. We ask questions such as what do you think of the lip sync, does the artist look like an R&B singer, what their thoughts were on the video and we ask them to rate our music video out of 10. Generally we got positive feedback, audience reactions were mostly good and encouraging. Most people thought the video was interesting and they wanted to watch till the end. The feedback on our audience were mostly positive and the audience said that the artist we created fitted the genre and looked like an R&B singer. From our audience feedback, we learned that we created a pleasable music video and met the expectations of the audience, which had helped engage the audience. We are very glad we got audience feedback because it made us aware of what we could have done to improve and what we did well. We have start, shared our music video on social networks such as Instagram and Twitter. We received a lot of positive feedback and retweets, which, is, which suggests that people enjoyed watching our video.
in the making of our music video, we received some constructive criticisms. One was that we didn't have enough so shots. So what we did as a group was create a shooting schedule and a storyboard, which enabled us to stay focused and be well organized. It also allowed us to use our time wisely. Another criticism that we received was having repetitive shots and irrelevant shots that didn't fit in with our genre. So what we did as a group was look, we looked back at our research and looked at the conventions of the genre we chose and made sure the shots that we refilmed matched our genre. Throughout our coursework, we have converged many types of media to create our music video and our ancillary texts. For example, we used a Nikon camera to film our music video and then we used Premium Pro to edit, which helped us extend our skills. By getting more familiar with all these types of convergence and digital technology, our skills have now improved significantly and we were able to produce our own media products. New technologies have allowed ordinary people like us to produce to become producers and distributors as anyone can upload their footage on social networking sites and social media for people to view. Social networking sites allow us to communicate with people worldwide and give our own opinions. So what we did was upload our footage onto YouTube, Instagram, Twitter and Facebook which allowed our audience to give their opinions on our music video. By using websites such as Wix and YouTube social networking sites, for example Instagram and Twitter, it has enabled us to advertise and distribute our, our work at, across the world. By putting our music video onto YouTube, it has made our film global for everyone to view, specifically our target audience. The technology and, in, and the internet we have access to have enabled us to make our music video look professional. We use the internet to do our research. We gained information on the history of music videos and helped us understand the different types of conventions for different genres, which is important when making music videos as it allows the audience to identify with it. Our skills have certainly developed during the making of our media products and ancillary text, as within our ASC we never worked on Premium Pro, Pro and Photoshop. Although we hadn't used these softwares before, we found it fairly easy to use and within time we were able to pretty much do everything on these softwares, such as changing the tone of pictures, cutting, adding text, adding voiceovers, etc.